For more than 80 years, Maine Maritime Academy has been training young people to take charge of big ships around the world. Now, as the latest class is getting ready for its first major journey at sea, Maine Maritime is preparing for a new ship to provide that training. 207's Don Kerrigan went to Castine to find out what's coming. Castine does have a campus, but the center of this school is the ship. From the first day Maine Maritime students take the plunge, they are connected to the training vessel, State of Maine. From the bridge to the engine room and every place in between. I'm proud of all of them. I know Captain Mack is proud of all of them. Chief Engineer Aaron Coy and State of Maine Captain Mack MacArthur are the latest to use this ship to train new crews of merchant mariners. This particular ship arrived here in Castine in 1997. In fact, both men trained on this ship themselves more than 25 years ago. Each then did two decades at sea before coming back to Castine. Now they're getting ready to see this ship go away. But it's it's time. It's showing its age. Um, we have we're limit we're space limited on this ship. Um, it wasn't designed to be a training ship. We only have 300 beds, um, just under 300. The new ship will have 700. Sometime next year, Maine Maritime Academy will be getting a new training vessel, the first brand new ship they've ever had. The U.S. Maritime Administration is building five of these vessels for the country's maritime colleges. The first one was completed and delivered in New York, and Captain MacArthur got to sail on board. It's amazing. Uh, it's huge um, as far as the interior spaces and, and how, how they're utilized. It's, it's fantastic. Uh, the ship rides well. It handles well. These right here are pretty much what we'll see on the new ship. Yes. These are state of the art. For the Academy's young seamen like Junior Aaron Myers, the new ship will be all state of the art. They can do all of those things without affecting the real-time navigation. The current state of Maine has had upgrades, but much of the rest of this ship is dated. The new one will have new technology and better training spaces. On that vessel as well, like they were saying, they have the second engine room. We're going to have a second bridge, which is going to be dedicated towards training. This image shows the windows of that training bridge located right underneath the one that commands the ship. So it's basically a place we go, mess around with the ECTIS, mess around with the radar, see what certain things do without making a problem for navigation. And below decks, the ship will also have a special training control room next to the real one. Yes. Junior Dwayne Tibbetts works down here and says new will be better for the student. We're kind of a little outdated here, but the new one will be more standard with industry. Dwayne and Aaron, along with Matt Eckert and Emma White, are all juniors getting ready for this summer's final cruise for a school program they've come to love. And it just so happened that the school was such a great opportunity to go to. There's offers so many great experiences, especially hands-on. And facing the challenges of extended time at sea has only increased their desire to do this work. No, it's just made me dig, dig my heels in even more and get ready to like keep going. I'm ready. By now, the juniors have gone up and down the ship and know her by heart. But most of them won't get the chance to sail on the new one. They will all have graduated before its first cruise in the summer of 25. Odie Fields, however, is a sophomore, and he's hoping the ship docks in Castine for next year's summer sea term for a chance to get his hands on the new training bridge. It's very busy and it requires a lot of uh, vigilance, and so having the training, the training bridge below will allow for students to be students. The new state of Maine will actually have a dual mission. Besides training, all five of these new ships are also being built to do disaster work and humanitarian missions with space to carry vehicles and supplies, to have medical facilities and hold a lot more people. Uh, so that you have less current going through. Your but her primary job will continue to be preparing the next generation of mariners to face the sea. That's where you build your confidence is when we trust them enough to do the job, but we're, we're over here, we're still watching, but they're doing the work. And, and those aha moments and the light bulb kicks, it, it makes this job so rewarding, so rewarding. 
The state of Maine will set sail from casting in May for a final 70-day training voyage. Then, mission completed, the ship's name will be moved to the new vessel to take more young crewmen into the future. The current state of Maine will be returned to the U.S. Maritime Administration, which owns the college training vessels and will be put to some other use. The five new ships are in a program called National Security Multi-Mission Vessels. It costs about $630 million in all. That works out to about $125 million per ship. Before the new ship arrives in Castine, Maine Maritime needs to do a major construction project on the pier there to make it bigger and higher to handle rising sea levels.